हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ओवरव्यू ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल ओवर द गिवन वॉल्यूम यूजिंग सिलिंड्रिकल कोऑर्डिनेट सिस्टम्स आई विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस कपल ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स विथ स्टेप बाय स्टेप सोल्यूशन लेट एस फर्स्ट सी द कॉन्सेप्ट ओवरव्यू हियर वी डिस्कस वॉट आर सिलिंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट्स नोट दैट वेन एवर द वॉल्यूम over which the integration is to be evaluated is of the type cylinder or cone then only we are going to use cylindrical coordinate system which consists of coordinates of z r and theta look at here in this cylinder we need mainly the z axis the radius and theta now let us discuss the relation between cartesian coordinates x y z and cylindrical coordinates r theta and z here x is equal to r cos theta y is r sin theta and z is equal to z is the relation between cartesian and cylindrical coordinate system note that the order of evaluation dx dy dz in terms of cylindrical coordinates is given by r dr d theta into dz this r is due to jacobian i am not covering that jacobian part in this video but time being understand that whenever you transform the integral system from one coordinate system to another coordinate system you have to multiply with this jacobian to new coordinate systems order of evaluation now with this amount of knowledge let us proceed for examples in this first example we are asked to evaluate triple integral of under root of x square plus y square dx dy dz over the volume bounded by the right circular cone whose equation is x square plus y square is equal to z square for all z greater than 0 and the planes z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 let us see step by step solution of this question here the volume over which the integration is to be evaluated is bounded by the cone and planes z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 so these are their equations now we draw these planes and cone then we find limits for z this is that cone whose equation is x square plus y square is equal to z square its axis is z axis and since we need z greater than 0 cone so we are not drawing the remaining part of the cone which is along negative z axis next let us draw z is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 is nothing but xy plane so this is the plane which is z is equal to 0 and z is equal to 1 is the plane passing through point z is equal to 1 and parallel to xy plane so your volume is bounded by these two planes from below it is bounded by z is equal to 0 and from above it is bounded by z is equal to 1 now let us shade this volume so this is the volume over which we have to evaluate this triple integral now let us first find out the limits for inside integral that is limits for z for that we throw arrows parallel to z axis from bottom to top and we observe through which plane these arrows enter into the volume so we see that when we throw arrows parallel to z axis from bottom to top these arrows enter into this volume by crossing this cone whose equation is z square is equal to x square plus y square so lower limit for z is under root of x square plus y square but if i use cylindrical coordinates then i have to put x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta so x square plus y square turns into r square so z is z turns into r so lower limit for z is r now we see that these arrows we throw parallel to z axis from bottom to top they left this volume by crossing the plane z is equal to 1 so upper limit for z is 1 look at here so lower limit for inside integral is r and the upper one is 1 next we see limits for middle integral for that we project this volume onto xy plane look at here if i project this volume onto xy plane i'm going to see a circle on xy plane 
with radius 1. Now we find limits for r and theta from this circle. Here modulus varies from 0 to 1 and theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. So middle integral will have limits 0 to 1 and outside integral will have limits 0 to 2 pi like this. So here order of evaluation we will maintain as dz then dr then d theta. So inside integral first we evaluate with respect to dz then middle one with respect to dr then outside one with respect to d theta. Let us check the evaluation. Before evaluation we will convert this integrand in terms of r and theta. We know in cylindrical coordinates x is r cos theta and y is r sin theta. If we put those relations over here, under root of x square plus y square turns into under root of r square, which is nothing but r. So this r and this r becomes r square. Now we integrate this integrand with respect to z first. Integration of r square with respect to z is r square into z over the limit r to 1. After substituting these limits, we get r square into 1 minus r, which is nothing but r square minus r cube. Now let us integrate this with respect to r. Integration of r square is r cube by 3 and integration of r cube is r raised to 4 by 4 over the limit 0 to 1. Now let us substitute these limits over here. We get 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 is 1 by 12. It is constant so we take it out. Inside we will left with only 1 d theta. Integral of 1 with respect to d theta is theta over the limit 0 to 2 pi. Substituting these limits in theta we get 2 pi upon 12. That is pi by 6. So this is the value of triple integral of under root x square plus y square dx dy dz calculated using cylindrical coordinates. I hope guys you understood this example. Now let us see another such example. Here question is to evaluate the triple integral of z square dx dy dz over the volume bounded by the cylinder x square plus y square is equal to a square and the paraboloid x square plus y square is equal to z and the plane z is equal to 0. Let us see solution. Here, volume over which the integration is to be evaluated is bounded by cylinder, plane and the paraboloid, whose equations are as follows. x square plus y square is equal to a square, x square plus y square is equal to z and plane z is equal to 0. Let's draw them. This bowl shape is the paraboloid whose equation is x square plus y square is equal to z z is equal to 0 is xy plane and x square plus y square is equal to a square is this cylinder. This cylinder is going to cross somewhere to this paraboloid. So our volume which is bounded by this paraboloid cylinder and z is equal to 0 plane is this one shaded by blue color. Over this volume we have to evaluate this triple integral. Now this triple integral is easier to evaluate in terms of cylindrical coordinates because here the volume over which we have to evaluate the integral consists of cylinder. So let us transform this entire system from Cartesian coordinates to cylindrical coordinates using the relation x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. So now for finding inside integral limits that is limits for z we throw arrows parallel to z axis from bottom to top. Check that these arrows crosses z is equal to 0 plane to enter into the volume. So z is equal to 0 is the lower limit for inside integral. And note that while leaving the volume of integration these arrows crosses paraboloid whose equation is x square plus y square is equal to z. In terms of cylindrical coordinates, this equation turns into z is equal to r square. Therefore, upper limit for inside integral with respect to z is r square. 
look at here so the lower limit is 0 the upper limit is r square now for finding the limits for middle as well as outside integral that is with respect to r and theta we project this volume onto xy plane look at here this is how it will look like after projection so when we project this onto xy plane it will look like a circle of radius a so obviously here modulus varies from 0 to a and theta varies from 0 to 2 pi so once again middle integral will have limit 0 to a and outside integral will have limit 0 to 2 pi this dx dy dz will turn into r dr d theta into dz in cylindrical coordinates z is z itself so we do not need to transform this integrand z square now let us evaluate this integral first with respect to dz integration of z square is z cube by 3 over the limit 0 to r square substituting these limits in this we get r square cube that is r raised to 6 by 3 into r dr d theta 1 by 3 is constant we can take it out r raised to 6 into r is r raised to 7 and r raised to 7's integration is r raised to 8 upon 8 over the limit 0 to a now let us substitute these limits in r we will have a raised to 8 upon 8 it is a constant you can take it out so a raised to 8 upon 8 goes outside inside we will left with only d theta whose integration is theta over the limit 0 to 2 pi after substituting limits in theta we get 1 by 3 into a raised to 8 upon 8 into 2 pi simplifying which we get answer as 2 pi a raised to 8 upon 24 that is a raised to 8 pi upon 12 this is the value of the given triple integration I hope guys you understood how to use cylindrical coordinates while evaluating the triple integration over the volume which is bounded by the cylinder or cone. Guys if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video among your friends. I will be coming with more interesting topics in my next videos till then keep watching my videos thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.